All right, welcome to the Gartner Data and Analytics Summit. It's uh, the Robert Show here, and I'm here with Kavita from Coldo, my very old friend. Kavita, welcome to the Robert Show. Hey, Robert, it's so nice to be here. Uh, you're more than an evangelist. I mean, Thank we have you. been a pretty big fan of your show. Thank you. Uh, it's been so good to be here back at the uh, you know Gartner Data and uh, Event yeah. that in Orlando. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a quick introduction probably. Yes, uh, so please. I'm Kavita. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I lead alliances and sales for North American market for Qualdo. Uh, Qualdo is uh, data reliability, uh, data observability, and data quality product, Great. triangulating all of this into one for all our customers. That's the principle behind Qualdo. Yeah. You're doing all the right things, and I, you know, I I know we collaborated back then on data observability, the reality booking, yes. such great chapter that was uh, contributed by Qualdos. Thanks yeah. once again for doing that. But Definitely. Um, uh, since we are here at Gartner Data and Analytics Summit in uh, Orlando, mm -hmm. I would love to ask you about you know, what, and I know you're talking to a lot of enterprise leaders. You're getting a lot of info. Right. Uh, I would just ask a little info that you can share with my audience as well and what are the key takeaways definitely uh, first of all orlando as a place has been yes. very close to me uh, very personal to me so Wonderful. really great vibe here at the gartner event the three days has been fantastic yeah um all the theme of generative ai it has been too good yeah and especially uh, interest for us is the data observability uh, you know sessions uh, and the session by melody chain it has been fantastic so insightful yeah. uh, you know we can see that over a period of time how data observability has uh, you know grown evolved and it's still evolving it's uh, you know uh, it's it's so exactly. evaluating and exactly. we are right there right Love it. and yeah. i'm telling you we are not going to stop there it's going to evolve and okay. it's going to evolve very quickly because we've seen that over years as well. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, and I've known Qualdo for a while and right. the things that you guys are doing, you have evolved with time. You are very much at the forefront of making sure that it is something which uh, uh -huh. the audience as well and the users, the customers, they are excited about. Yeah. So well done on that. Um, sure. You also heard about, you know, generative AI and collective intelligence during partner keynote. Yeah. What are your thoughts around that? Uh, it perfectly aligns with, you know, um, what we stand for, yeah. uh, what we believe in. Yes. Uh, you know, I want to quote here, uh, you know, as you rightly said, uh, our CEO Murli has, yes. has contributed to triangulating data reliability, data observability and data quality into one right. for enterprises, right. Right. for all the data stakeholders, right? We right. are not just talking about one or two. I can't quote a simpler version of uh, you know what this means for enterprises what it means for data driven enterprises exactly, right exactly. yeah uh, so this is amazing this, right. that that kind of yeah, now since we are talking about murli let's get murli up here as well exactly. and um, uh, let's go murli uh, mm -hmm. who's the founder of Qualdo. Uh to your his thoughts uh, murli you have been in you know always been on establishing a trust flywheel with data quality data observability and data reliability uh, for the data teams, uh, what are your thoughts on what you heard and seen in the last couple of days and how would you map to the trust flywheel and uh, that you have been talking about because he's out there, he's talking yeah. a lot about it. So Muli, yeah. tell us more about it. Thank you, Ravit. It is always a pleasure to talk to you and collaborate with you. In fact, we have been super excited about what we have been hearing over various Gartner sessions. In fact, the acknowledgement that is coming for Qualdo's questioning of uh, trust flywheel uh, and the reiteration that you know we have been hearing across various uh, Gartner sessions is very heartwarming for us. So, Ravid, let's take a moment and uh, you know why are we even talking about the Qualdo uh, trust flywheel in the first place, right? So, the way uh, the Qualdo defines the trust flywheel is that uh, you know it's you can imagine it as a continuum across quality, uh, observability, and reliability, where one be ends, the other begins. Uh, most importantly, in the eyes of various uh, stakeholders like data, business, and governance. The reason why we call it as a trust flywheel is that, you know, while quality, uh, observability, and reliability are capabilities, the usage and expectations from these capabilities across these various stakeholders are very different. And that's a key element that, you know, uh, with Qualdo we are trying to address. Now, you know, uh, let's imagine for a moment we are not. Uh, uh, addressing this or thinking about this holistically, but trying to address only one part of a problem. 
what they are essentially doing is that you know already the data teams are mentally exhausted with every single data incident that they face today and we are only adding uh, to that uh, mental exhaustion so with qualdo we are trying to seek to address this trust deficit that exists across various stakeholders by doing two things can you go to the root cause in the most optimal time efficient manner possible and second also introduce a language that is unifying uh, all the uh, quality observability and data reliability aspects so in essence you know uh, we are also uh, trying to deliver happiness to the data teams so that everybody could be a happy camper so as to say these are fantastic insights muli thanks for sharing those in uh, totally makes sense and now i know why you call it trash fly wheel so thanks for that uh, another quick question to you muli what are the major themes of data and analytics that you liked in the different sessions and how do you think it will relate to the qualdo vision going forward and especially in 2024 because we are in this interesting space right now interesting year definitely so tell us a little more about it it was a great energy in the gartner event as always and you know this year is it's so special because we are uh, sitting in the cusp of various technology trends and one of the major theme that really resonated with us is the focus on roi Uh, we believe this is going to be uh, very critical for the data and analytics team going forward you not know, to quote debra logan uh, what you termed as collective intelligence in terms of how the dnd teams are organized uh, and communicate with each other as well we love the energy around the uh, data observability as a space across various sessions speakers customers in fact you know we loved the session from melody chan and i know i remember this uh, statistic so vividly now she presented only 7% of the data teams can actually identify and resolve issues before it affects the end users wow so you know th- this uh, uh, pain that we are seeing with our customers as well uh, and you know with qualdo preempting and helping resolve issues with the best possible roi and shortest manner possible is going to be the razor sharp focus uh, vision for us this year okay Uh, i would also you uh, know highly recommend for those who are interested uh, to go through the white paper that we have published in terms of how an enterprise wide uh, roi high roi can be achieved in terms of building this foundational layer of you know identifying and resolving uh, data incidents thank you ravi thanks murli those are fantastic insights again and uh, i'm going to come back to kavita kavita yeah. what next for the qualdo and when are we meeting again definitely so 2023 has been a fabulous year right we have been there on all three cloud places uh, marketplaces you know nice. aws azure gcp uh, our customers love us for that it's a single click deployment right so it's so exactly. simpler right. we have made it so simpler so they love it for us right we have also seen the mid market segment you know growing on with this data observability reliability uh, you know the need they are seeing it there sure. Sure. right uh, so on the customer side so it could be an evolving technology and what not but then customer is key for us oh, right exactly after all we are all there for customer, customer success first. Yes. right so I we so what more than we going and reaching our customer with a partner like microsoft we were wow. awarded microsoft partner of the year in 2023 and we are a preferred it an a partner for them right so yeah. this you know adds so much to what we are doing yeah. um, so much to what technology means it means for us what data observability means yes, for us definitely you know and then i have been working with a lot of engineering uh, leaders across the globe across verticals yeah. um and i could see that you know this is where the evolution is going on right so this is where we are going to lead and we are going in the right direction we are going to be there right yeah, so exactly. 2024 that's how we are looking it's all about our customers it's all about our partners uh, you know it's all about the data community right I love which it. includes experts like you congratulations right. on yes. winning the award uh, and getting the validation definitely from microsoft makes a lot of sense uh, it keeps you in a position where the community is liking it the enterprise leaders the enterprise companies that you work with are yeah. exactly super excited about what you guys are doing and yeah. keeps you keeps keeps you guys up in a very good position 
So that's awesome. Yeah. Like I said, I've Kavita is a great friend. Uh, I've worked with Caldo and like worked with Caldo in many ways. I've known you guys since a while. Yeah. And it is such a pleasure to have you on the Ravit show and yeah. chat today. Thank you very much. Definitely. Yeah, looking forward for the next event, Ravit. Yes. Yeah? Definitely yeah. looking yeah. forward to yeah. catching up very soon. Thank you once again. Thank you. Thanks everyone.